How's it going everyone? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be doing a recap on today's Trace Labs CTF. Now for those that participated you probably you probably feel a little tired from today's CTF. It was pretty difficult so uh, this CTF we had four missing person cases that we all dealt with. Uh, I believe two of them were minors under the age of 18 and then there were two adults. All of them were outside of the United States. And so it made things challenging for me. And like a previous video I made, it's good to be challenged when it comes to OSINT in areas you're not comfortable with. I'm not comfortable with, uh, you know, OSINT in the United Kingdom or really anywhere else that has like way more stricter privacy laws than the United States. So for missing persons cases, my team, we started out splitting everything up. Each person was assigned an individual. And then we went on it for about 30 minutes each to see what kind of info we could get. The person I was working with, I could not find a single piece of intel, like at all. Um, the name wasn't a super unique name, but it was really, really difficult to find like Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, um, Instagram, Twitter. Like there was nothing other than this missing person's like wanted thing like even family members couldn't find any family members was doing um facebook searches with last names and i use like facebook operators dorks whatever you want to call it so i like type in the last name and then i do uh, i click on person and then i do city and then the city that they were missing in and i was still coming up empty-handed i was like doing different variations of that person's name no luck whatsoever uh, we got about we got about an hour in and then we all decided to work on one particular person now throughout my uh, time on this uh, CTF I wanted to try out this tool called Vortimo um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that I'm not endorsed don't even have a referral link which by the way referral links I do have a couple referral links down in the description not endorsed or sponsored by the Ascension or Cyber One Intel, but if you want to check them out, it helps the channel out. Links are down in the bio. Uh, but Vortimo, on the other hand, it's a tool where you basically um, have a browser add-on and it records all of the information that you're looking at. And it's kind of like a breadcrumb tracking tool. Now I'm going to mask this entire page right here because this is the actual information from the CTF right here. But um, all the names are gonna be blanked out. But what makes this tool super helpful is while I was doing the CTF, I'm going on Facebook, I'm going on Twitter, I'm going like all over the place. And the one thing that I've always struggled with is once I find a really good piece of Intel, you have to explain yourself. Like we got one flag today where it was like uh, advancing the uh, timeline. So like the person went missing on this date and we found a piece of Intel that was after the day they were missing, which was super awesome. I didn't find that. Uh, one of my team members, uh, I think, I wanna give them the proper creds. Um, EF, uh, who was on my team, found it. So props to them for finding that. But like, if, if I would've found that and I like got lost in the weeds, like this is where Vortimo would've came in. So it tracks your breadcrumbs. So over here on the left, you could see like all the different websites I went to. So. Spent a lot of time on Facebook, spent a lot of time on Instagram, and a little bit on this particular person right here on Twitter. Uh, so uh, lots of stuff here. Like you can see that I'm scrolling down. These are the different pages I visited. Now what makes Vertimo extremely beneficial. So when you're like on a part particular person's like account or anything like that, it will highlight a name and you can make it a, like a tag with that name. And so like when I found the missing person's Facebook, I would say, oh, this is MP. So this exact name is the MP, missing person. So anytime that name showed up in any other results, it would, it would tag that page with the MP. Um, so it does stuff like that. And it also allows you to search text. So things I was looking for on, uh, and it was actually super beneficial was um, 
like after like two hours in, I'm like looking up keywords. Like I'm going through Trace Labs. I'm like, okay, what is some things that can be advanced Intel? So things like uh, of advanced Intel would be like, um, you know, any medical issues they might have or like any vehicles that they have. And I started just like looking things like I looked up health. So like, I'll look it up right here. So I'll look up health and it will pull the text from all of the pages I visited matching that term and it even highlights it. So like in this case, it's like mental health. Here's all of the pages I visited while I was researching this particular missing person that referenced the word health in it. Or you could do things, unfortunately, with a lot of these cases, death, died, missing, found. You can look up whatever you want and it will bring you to that page. And what you can do, like, if you if, if you get this, like, little blurb right here, which, again, I'm blurring everything because this is a real missing person that is active. Like, they, they have not been found yet. We didn't find them. Um, but, like... If you're like, holy shit, that's like a really good piece of intel. Looking at that snippet, you can right click and copy URL. And it will, you could go right to that page and get like immediate information. Uh, down here, I believe is the timeline throughout the day. So we did all of our um, investigations today between like 9 a.m. ish to 1 p.m. Pacific, something like that. So there's that stuff right there. Like the text tag stuff was super beneficial for us, uh, or at least for me, because I was the one using it. Um, it also does things and finds like email addresses. It finds things like phone numbers because these are regular expressions. These are predictable things. Um, URLs, stuff like that. Another thing, and I'll do this, um, I'll do this on myself. So I'll look up Cody Bernardi, highlight again. So we will click on this icon right here. I don't know exactly what that does, but we will open all and it will automatically open up all these different websites. So right here, looked up my name, Cody Bernardi. It's searching various media sites. I don't know exactly what it's doing. It's on cse.google.com. So like has all this information. We have WebMe. So we have like potential... Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts, uh, uh, people associated with me and potentially, um, let's see, articles, YouTube channel, TikTok, Gray Noise, like all of these different websites that has my name on it. Um, we have Facebook right here. You're not going to find a Facebook for me because I don't have one, but who's this? Hey y'all, I guess that's me. Let's see, it takes us over to Social Searcher, Reverse Who Is, and then Cody Bernardi on Onion Land Search. But it's just like, it's a one-click thing and it opens up all of these sites for you. So it's super helpful with that. Uh, we will uh, go over my name again and we can write a note. It's like, hey, we'll do uh, blah, 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 Cody, whatever, and then hit the check mark and it saves it for us. So anyways, I use Vertimo a lot, so moving on. So a, a wrap up of everything. So really difficult challenge today. Um, we got some good intel. Um, we really got a ton of information on one person, and that's kind of what our focus was. We kind of all agreed mutually to do that. Uh, the MP's Facebook was pretty locked down. Uh, the only way we were able to get any more intel about that person was looking their name up on Facebook. And I'll show you right now. Like, this is kind of what we did. So this is how you filter down to posts only. So I looked up 6 9 on Facebook. And this is the normal result you'll get when you go on to Facebook. What you could do is click on posts. And you could do recent posts. So now... you. Don't do recent posts with 6 9 but um, that's what you could do. So, like, missing person up here, boom, posts, recent posts. Or you could do date posted from or date posted, posts from anyone, tagged location. So, we could do, like, posts from 2015. 
Let's see if there's any posts from 6-9 in 2015. So we got like lightning at 6-9. Is this, is this Takashi 6-9? Or maybe they edited it. I don't know. This is like actually funny to look at. <laughs> what? Why are these people? <laughs> Instead of 2015, let's check out 2016. Maybe this is when he was starting to blow. Okay. Okay. Studio time with the, all the boys. Six nine pro full house. Six nine in here. I don't know. Maybe. No. Anywho, that's what you could do if you wanted to. Um, and, yeah, so we started going down the likes, the shares. Um, well, actually, from sorting by posts, we we're able to find people like, oh, my sister uh, or my bro my uh, my sister-in-law, stuff like that. Like, they would say those words, and we were able to get, like, a family... Um, kind of points for that. And we did that for all the ones that we found that were family. I'm not a huge fan of hogging points for like friends only. Um, I just, it's, I like, I, I don't know. That's just not my cup of tea. I know I could get more points doing that, but I don't really care to make a lot of points. I just want to find good intel. That's just me. That's how I roll. I'm not shaming anyone if they want to do other stuff and upload everyone's uh, missing person's entire friends list. You can go ahead and do that. Like if they have a thousand friends and you want to get 10,000 points, uh, I guess you could win the CTF, I guess. Um, anywho, so we did that and that was mainly everything. We found like a Duolingo account, which is something I've, ac I've actually never thought about checking before. Again, that was like something my teammate did. I believe that was EF as well. Found a Duolingo account. Um, in the past, I found like Xbox Live accounts and I was able to find like a hobby like I took the Facebook username and I looked it up on Xbox Live and it showed that they were actually online after they were missing. So that was like uh, advancing the uh, timeline point stuff, which was interesting. Um, a tool we used, we used Holhi. And then there was another one that was for like Google, like a Gmail account. Um, I forgot what it's called. G-A-I-A. -I, -A. I think that's what it's called. Overall... Very challenging CTF. Um, looking forward to the next one. Uh, but yeah, this one was pretty difficult. We had one person that like immediately once you start looking them, into them, you're like, okay, well, this one's probably going to be like, like the, the information about why they were missing told us that it probably wasn't worth the time to figure out the rest of their case. I'm not going to lead into it any further, but it's like you read like, what led up to them missing? It's like, okay. I don't think any sort of OSINT we can do online is going to tell us the definitive results that they may or may not be alive. Just leave it at that. So anyways, that is it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Again, check out the links down below. We got uh, Cyber One Intel and the Ocension being affiliates of the channel. So if you're interested in the services they provide, link is down in the bio. Um, and also I'll put a link to Vortimo down below. Again, not affiliated with the channel at all. Just a super amazing tool that I found super helpful on this CTF. So anyways, that is it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.